joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. you thank you for joining wherever you are joining from I appreciate you please share the broadcast on your platform share to family and friends keep sharing keep sharing keep sharing keep sharing my brother Solomon Obina thank you for joining all welcome keep sharing you are welcome share to your platform share to your whatsapp group share to any place you belong you are welcome thank you so much for joining this very program today wherever you are connecting from if you are joining from any part of the world if you are joining from biafra land my special thanks goes to you if you are joining from biafra land if you are joining from asia from europe from america from australia from canada from new zealand from russia Whichever part of the world you are joining from, I say, may Chukwu Kukabiyama continue to guide you, protect you, and secure you. I thank you so much for joining me once again on this very program today to continue to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. As I will always tell you, for those who are coming to this very platform for the very first time, this is an autopiloted platform, autopiloted by Chukwu Kukabiyama himself under the spokesmanship of Master Simon Epa and on the leadership of Master Nandekano, that is where we stand, speaking the truth at all times. That is what we do with this platform, encouraging Biafran, setting the record straight, making sure that we say that which they don't want you to hear, making sure we straighten every lie that has been told against us, making sure that we remind the Biafran people of whatever they have forgotten, Making sure we continue to defend the Biafra, defend our spokesperson, Master Simon and defend our supreme leader, Master Nande Khan. That is what we do on this very platform. We don't come here to preach hate. We don't come here to antagonize people, to call names, to blackmail, or to push any propaganda. That is not what we do here. We set the record straight here, speaking the truth and nothing but the truth. And as long as you are the lover of truth, you are going to enjoy this platform. But if you don't love the truth, if you are one of those blackmailers, you are going to be uncomfortable in this very platform, I bet you. You'll be very uncomfortable. So prepare yourself before we kick off. So if you are joining as you come in, please share. Share. Make sure that every one of us in this program today, make sure you share to one person. Share to every WhatsApp group that you belong. Make sure you share. Share to family and friends. Share to even our enemies, share to them. Let them come and hear us out because we will not stop talking. No matter how they try to stop us, they will never ever succeed. Today, we want to talk about some things that concerns us. You know, every day we bring a topic to talk about, to encourage their friends, and to speak about our situation. And today, we are going to talk about the moment of truth. 
it says the topic says the moment of truth is here true or false the moment of truth is here true or false if you are watching me on the comment section if you are watching me from any angle you are watching from answer my question true or false moment of truth has come the moment of truth it has come true or false well it is absolutely the truth if you can tell yourself the truth if you have been observant if you have been following events that have been happening you will now realize that the moment of truth has come today when you go to the social media you will see confessions of confessions those people who have been pretending they can't pretend no more those that have been calling us name they can no longer pretend anymore the moment of truth has come some of them who are holding their nigerian passport with two hands today i saw many of them throwing away the passport tearing that passport before the whole world some who have been saying oh it's gonna be good some who have been talking about obedience oh obedience is the opportunity ah, nothing can make them rig this election nothing will stop will be from winning nothing 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 when you try to bring the reality to them they will abuse you they will curse you they will bully you they will attack you the moment of truth have come today they have finally realized that we have what we have been speaking about for a very long time is the only way out they have finally realized that our supreme leader Mazen Nandekano is the only man that has the key Today, a lot of apologies to Mazen Nandekano, even though he's not there to read the comments. I wish Mazen Nandekano could have access to the media to read the comments that people are pushing forward. I wish that our school of Mazen Nandekano would be there to read the comments. But nevertheless, we are reading it on his behalf. We are receiving all those apologies. We are friends. We don't hold any grudges against our brothers. I see somebody trying to join. If you want to join the platform, please make sure you keep your phone in this way. Keep your phone this way and make sure that your rotation is on. Click your rotation on and keep your phone this way. That is the only way you can join. I saw some uh, requests. I'm going to accept you, but make sure you keep your phone in a horizontal way and click your rotation on. Then you can join me and make your contributions. So as I was saying, the moment of truth has come. To your left, you see confession. You turn to your right, confession. You turn to the front, you see confession. You look at the back, you see confession. Today, they are confessing in huge numbers. They can't pretend anymore. They cry out in tears. That is always how it is with a black man. They learn the hard way. Our people love to learn in the hard way. When you talk to them in a cool way, when you talk to them in a way that they'll be secure, they wouldn't listen. That was why Mazen Nandekano came with a hard message. When I was supreme leader, Mazen Nandekano started. He came with a very hard message. And when he throws the message, is either you take it or you leave it. And that was how he was able to make so many people begin to see reasons and begin to talk sense. And today, finally, those stubborn ones, those Thomas who say they will see before they believe, the moment of truth has come. And finally, they have no choice than to begin to key in. Well, the apologies are accepted. We welcome every one of them. Those of them who are talking from all angles, confessing, I hope your confession is sincere because if you're not sincere, you are going to meet what is worst in the in time to come. You're welcome, my brother. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. My Thank brother you. Solomon, you're welcome. Yes, sir, I greet you. Thank you <laughs> for joining. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon for you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, my other brother is in the middle. I can't see your name popping out. So can you hear me? Yeah, that's some gossip. Gossip. Okay. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Please uh, uh, make your submission to Bia France. I'll say hello to Bia France and uh, make your submission while we continue. Uh, glad to meet you, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you there? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, okay. I'm happy seeing people like you saying the truth. Uh, you know, the Thank truth you. cannot be uh, We can't shy away from realities. Absolutely. I'm very, very glad. Uh, keep it on, keep it on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your greetings. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you. My brother Solomon, you're welcome. Very much welcome. Okay. <clears throat> yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, brother, I greet you. I welcome you for today's program. I greet you for all over the world. Uh, okay, look when I'm where we are discussing about uh, a matter. Our, our advising is each and every one of us to come closer to your your media device to hear the truth, nothing but truth, and for you to accept it is for your own good. Yes. Very fluid that we are, you have seen the handwork of what we are doing, what our leader has started for many years and will take over from him and continue on his line. You have seen the handwork and the progress. Thank you all. Come back to your social media, your social media devices and hear the truth. Thank you. Thank you so much, my beloved brother. Thank you for coming up. So today we are going to talk about the moment of truth. The moment of truth have come. Every one of you that is watching us on the comment section, please share this broadcast to your family and friends. Share it in any WhatsApp group where you belong. The moment of truth have come. You can deny it for all I care. You can pretend about it, but I can tell you, when you look at the right, look at the left, look at the front, look at the back, go to the social media, go to their conventional media, all you see is confession. Confession. Those of them that say that, oh, one Nigeria is the only solution. Oh, we are better united together. Oh, Nigeria is one. There's no way you can divide. Why are you talking about division? Why are you preaching division? Why are you preaching hate? Why are you talking about today they are confessing? Moment of truth have come. They can't hide anymore. When you turn everywhere you turn, you see them confessing from one angle to the other. They can't even pretend about it anymore. When you see them, they begin to confess. They will tell you, oh, Nigeria will never work again. I have lost faith in Nigeria. This is my last opportunity. I saw somebody finally tearing his Nigerian passport. <laughs> I saw it too. I saw it. I saw it too. These are the people who had so much faith and they said obedience is the way. When we were telling them, they never believed. Those of us who are the hardcore students of Mazen and the Khan, we see the end from the beginning. I don't know why. I don't know why people who claim to be some of them they claim they are professor. They have read book front and back. Some say they are doctors. Some say they are engineers. But when you come to common sense, that is not common. They don't have it. They don't have it. Is it that they are pretending? Sometimes I ask, is it that they are pretending? Or is it that they don't know the, what is right? Or is it that when they were reading the book they read, it, they were reading the back of the book or what? Or is it that the certificate they have, they were dashed? Because even somebody who didn't go to the four wall of the school, somebody who didn't even attend a second, who didn't even attend school one day, when you sit back at your age, if you are above 30 years, if, even if you're, if you're above 30 years, even even about 20 if you're above 20 years when you sit back and you look the things you have said since you were born in that very contract it is not difficult for you to know what will happen tomorrow it is not difficult let alone somebody who is above 30 you are above 30 and yet you pretend not to know what nigeria is Tell you PVC is the ultimate, and you begin to clap hand and jump. Oh, PVC, PVC, PVC. They tell you beavers, beavers. You say, Oh, yes, we got it right. This is the ultimate. Beavers can never, you can never beat the beavers. With beavers, all hope is there. With beavers, some of them have covered their face in shame. When you go to their, their conventional media, 
what they used to do in those days when they come to the convention meeting, they will tell you, yes, now I neck have gotten it right. We have the beavers. With that beavers, you cannot beat it. With that beavers, you cannot rig election. <laughs> they have all covered their face in shame. Look at the governorship election. Governorship election is total an absolute war. In River State. Look at what WK is doing in River State. Just imagine what WK is doing in River State. Using police themselves, using the police and INEC themselves to rig election. He will use police to come to where the pulling boat. The same police that was meant to protect you, they will come there and they will hijack the ballot box. This time it's not that below. Police themselves will come and take the ballot box. When we tell you that Nigeria is not for you, when we say Nigeria is not for you, we are not making it up. The British that owned Nigeria gave you a police force. The only place where you have police force is in Nigeria. In other places where you see the police, you just see the police that is for the people, not a force. Police is not force. Where you can find force is in the military. It is only Nigeria. Nigeria, you see police force given to you by the British to make sure you continue to obey them at every instance. You have seen it. Now you see how they how they support the when we tell you that these people are the ones supporting Boko Haram, they are supporting the, the terrorists, they are promoting the terrorists and protecting them. And some of you without it. Today you have seen it. We are a policeman in uniform. We go to a pulling boat where people are cutting wood and carry the, the, the they will carry the vote by themselves. They will carry it and snatch it by themselves. If the people who are there refuse, they will kidnap and kidnap the INEC official along. Look at the Lagos State. Lagos State has turned, a, turned to a war zone. And today people are confessing. And when we tell you, when we tell you what will happen when it does not happen, you don't pay attention. You remember when Mazen Nande kind of talked about the plans of the Janjaweed, the lies of the Janjaweed, the lies of the plan is today. Most of you that is watching me, you must have seen the tweet, the tweet that was made by Salusi, Lamido Salusi, Salusi that was sacked from uh, Kano State. If you have not seen that tweet go and check the tweet i saw it i saw it sanusi is the one coming now to remind people that our real enemy is the yellow bass that he told us that after the election it is after the election that we find out and know who is our real enemy this is what, what sanusi was saying thereby thinking us together with the, with the Yoruba people for us to begin to see Yoruba as the enemy but we we know that the people that are fighting us in Lagos State today, who are making sure that our properties and lives have been destroyed, are the instrument of the caliphate. These are people that are being sponsored, sponsored by the caliphate. Children who were raised up by the caliphate, built by the caliphate, he was allowed to steal as much as he can. All to the extent of owning a, a bullion van. And today, he is also working to, working for them as a payback. And so we come to remind you that now you have no your real enemy. Your real enemy is the Yoruba people. That is what uh, that is what Salusi is insinuating. But I tell you, Biafra that is watching me, the Yorubas are not your enemy. We don't have any problem with the Yorubas. If you don't know that, know it now. The Yorubas are not our enemy. The arch enemy that we have is the full and the ginger we, the caliphate that the British handed over Nigeria to continue to enslave us. Those are the real enemy. Whatever you see playing out in Lagos State today, anything you see playing out in Lagos today is orchestrated by the Fulanese. Our lion with the Dudua people remains intact. Our spokesperson, Master Samuel Nepa, is constantly in touch with Sunday Bobo. Constantly in touch with Sunday Bowl, and our alliance remains sealed as sealed at iron. And I can tell you, 
the real Odudua people, they are not in line with what you are seeing in Lagos. Whatever you are seeing in Lagos today is the ginger weed orchestration to make sure they keep all down. And those are Odudua brothers who understand what is happening. They are the ones who are also fighting for their own independence. As the Biafrans are fighting, they are fighting. They want to be free too. Do not allow anybody to deviate, to direct your mind to somewhere else. Don't allow anybody to deviate your mind from the real thing. I tell you, this is the moment of truth. The obvious truth you must have in your heart is that Nigeria is not one and can never be one. That is the simple truth that everybody must carry along in here.